hi guys welcome back to the channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to end any boondoggle stitch so for example in this one that i made this is how i ended this one and i'm going to show you how to do it so you don't need to leave these this long you can cut them short if you want to but I just like the way that this one looks. Um, so for this one I have, um, I'm at the end, I have enough left to um, tie a little bit of a knot, but what I'm gonna do is um, loosen up this last stitch like this. There we go, it's nice and loose. And I'm going to start with this blue one right here and I'm going to be um, turning it like so and I'm going to go underneath the other blue one. So it's turning around it and it's going to go under right here through oops, I went under it and through to the middle. And I'll show you guys again. So the next one that you're going to do is the one that's sticking out right next to the blue one that you just turned. So I'm going to do this teal one now. And this teal one is going to go underneath the other teal one. So I'm going to just go looping around it and going under and through to the middle. And I'm going to turn it. Now I have another dark blue one and the dark blue is going to go underneath and then it's going to go through to the middle here. There we go. And then the last one is this teal. It's just going to turn, go underneath it and through to the middle. Now that they're all done, it is still looking really loose. So what you're going to do is tighten them a little by little. And that is the name of the game with these things is just to do it little by little so that you're not tightening it too fast. And when you do it slowly, you control more the way that it is going to look. So what I usually do is I take, um, the same color strands and I pull those individually. So these two dark blue ones are tightening together. I'm just pulling them, pull, pull, pull. And then I'm gonna take the teal and I'm gonna pull, 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 pull. And now I can start um, tightening it a little bit more using my thumbs and pulling, pulling it a little bit tighter. You can see I'm using more force now and there you have it i secured the ends like so and then i can loop a keychain onto this one right here and then you have a boondoggle keychain and what i like to do is i know that these ends are all uneven and turned and stuff like that so I like to finish them with a slanted cut. So I'll just cut them all slanted and I try to make them as even as I can. All right. All right, there you have it. A tied off, very clean looking finish for this boondoggle. All right, thanks for tuning in. Bye.